I've had several people in the comments ask me to show you some of the stretches that I've learned to do for pain management. Um, so we'll start with the top half. So what you want to do is ground yourself, feet flat on the floor, hands on your laps or at your side or on your tops of your legs and close your eyes and take three deep breaths just to ground yourself and then we'll start to work through the stretches. So I'll show you that. Turn our heads to the side, keeping our shoulders down. Doesn't have to be a huge stretch, just whatever you can manage. And then to the front. And then the same the other side. And feel the stretch down the outer bit of your neck. Back to the front. And then we want to do the same, but this time we want to then look down towards our elbow, but keeping our shoulders down. And the other side. Excuse the tractor. And you want to draw your head back so you almost want to give yourself a double chin um, so it's not doing this and bringing your neck down it's literally bringing your head back your neck back keeping your shoulders down bringing the chin in that actually I often feel on the back of the shoulders which is where I get a lot of pain bring it in I'm bound to forget some of the uh, stretches that we were told to do because yeah I just we were guided through them and I remember some of them anyway what you want to do is we want to bring our arms up stretch as far up as we can trying to keep our shoulders relaxed except for the one that we're stretching and back down again same on the other side stretch up as far as you can and down and then this stretch and then if you want to intensify use that for support or push from underneath if you can't get your arm up and then the same for the other side And then we want to make a diamond with our hands to stretch this part of our hand. Okay. And then we want to use these fingers to open the webbed areas within our hands. So we're doing that between each one. And this really helps me because I have a lot of pain in my hands. That's predominantly where I'm suffering at the moment. So we just stretch the webs, webbed areas. And then what I did forget to do is this one. So keep your shoulders down and then prayer position. And then if you push down slightly, you will feel it under here. That stretches that area out. But remembering to try and keep your shoulders relaxed. And then, I'll stand up to show this. You want to twist it forwards as far as you can. And again, try and keep your shoulders relaxed. And then you'll feel that stretch in there. I'll take you downstairs for the next lot of stretches because they're standing stretches. So with this one, we want our feet sort of shoulder width apart and we want to just lower ourselves down and stretch as far as you can. You feel that down the back of your legs. And 
And then roll back up again. We want to stretch as high up as we can. Hold it. Stretch the whole body out. And down, and then hands behind the back. Stretch your back as far as you can. Whatever is comfortable. Back up. And you want to slightly widen your steps. I'm just going to shut this door. The geese could hear me, so they were having a moment. Um, so slightly wider apart than your hips, and you want to keep this leg, and you'll feel this stretch in here and in your hips. And the same on the other side. And feet in front. You want to keep your heel planted on the floor, this leg bent, but keep that heel down and feel it down the back of your leg. And if you want, you can lean forwards and push down to intensify it, or you could just stay upright. Sometimes I get a bit of cramp when I do this one. Um, and again, same with the other leg, this one slightly bent, that one straight, heel on the floor. Intensify it by leaning forwards if you want to. And then we want to do heel, so bend this leg, put this leg out straight and lift the heel. So you can't actually see it because I'm, let's see if I can move back a bit. Lift the heel up, this one bent, and you'll feel that down the back, on the back of the leg. And the higher you lift the, the foot, the more intense it is. Again, you can lean forward to, to intensify it a bit as well if you want. The same with the other. And they did say if you need support, if you want to hold on to something, you can. And then we're going to do the front by, again, holding like this. Pulling it up. You can use a towel for this as well. If you're struggling, you can't lift your leg up this far, then you can use a towel and I'll show you that as well. Um, you can also sit in a chair and put the leg under the chair and then lower yourself down slightly, um, which is another way of doing it if you're limited mobility. Let me just grab a towel. So I'm gonna use a goose towel, which is <laughs> a bit big. You don't want one this big, um, but you put it, on your leg like that and then holding on to something like a chair if you need to you can you know use it to lift to whichever height you can manage if you need support like that right oh and then don't forget stretch out open up your chest and by breathing in and out always remember your breathing head back and breathing in and out you can actually open up the stretch further So, I'm sure I've forgotten some of those stretches, but after I've done that, everything just feels a little bit more ooh, stretched, <laughs> which is the idea. Um, and it just gives you a moment as well for you to be you. Um, so if you can just give yourself five minutes before, I don't know, before the kids get up, before you go to work, before you have to start your day, you know, wh whenever you can fit it in. It doesn't have to be in the morning, it can be in the evening, it can be in the afternoon, it can be in your lunch break. You can do it more than once a day. It's just, some of these will just really help to keep you supple um, and give you a bit of strength as well, a bit of core strength, some, especially the more balanced ones. Um, but I'm finding they're helping. They are helping, especially, you know, working on the fingers. I'd never have thought to do this stretch, but it it really does help um, because it's my knuckles in particular that I struggle with and my hands that I struggle with with pain. So there you go.
that's my little and i am not medically trained to teach you this i'm just showing you what i was taught because lots of you have asked so um hope it's helpful